Hi friends, welcome into this video. Today we are talking all about fall makeup. This makeup look right here, it is very warm toned, it's very glowy. And what we're going to achieve in this video is we're going to show these warm tones the best way that we can possibly on a mature face. And what we can do to kind of make our eyes lifted too, I'm going to share that as well. I got my girl Ducky, she just jumped up here. Smuckers, come here. Her name is Smuckers, I call her Ducky. I don't know why, it's just her nickname. She's a red healer for any of you that are wondering. She was the runt of her litter and she's not very big for a red healer. So I love her to pieces, but she really doesn't like her new little brother. So she escapes to the top of my bed until he climbs up here again and he'll chase her off. So you guys, thanks so much for stopping by. If you're new to my channel, I do appreciate you being here with me. Please subscribe, hit the little bell icon. That really does help me out a lot. And if you're one of my subscribers that have been with me for a while, thank you so much for your support, your love, love your care. I really do appreciate that. And I will mention really quickly right here that I did talk about my parents having COVID. Both my parents do have, were, uh, tested positive for COVID and they, um, here comes my little guy. <laughs> and they're doing okay. Um, not great. It's a really hard disease, and my dad is 87 and my mother is 84, so it has been a really trying time for our family, but they're holding their own as of today, so I'm hopeful. But we're going to get into this tutorial right now for fall so everybody can see this fall-inspired makeup look, and I kind of match my puppy today. We're both doing the whole tan red thing. <laughs> so hope you guys enjoy this video. We're going to get into the tutorial right now. Okay, the only thing that I didn't have in this video for drugstore is an eyeshadow primer. This is my tried and true ride or die Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow primer. This tube is only $13. I feel like it's a pretty good price for drugstore anyway, but if you guys have a drugstore primer that you use that actually cancels out the um the discoloration let me know because i haven't been able to find one and this is the tape that i get from sephora it's just called lineup tape you can get elf tape too you can use scotch tape out of your drawer you don't have to use just a specific tape i like this because it doesn't tug on my skin the elf tape would never stay in place and i had a really big problem with that so i just love this tape from support sephora it works so good i take it about Oh, about an eighth of an inch away from my eye there and then the eyebrow right there. So we are going to be using today the Milani Bold Obsessions. I love this palette. It's so pretty. It has colors of cool in here, kind of neutral and then warm. So we're going to do the neutral and warm together and we're going to start out with this color down here, which is kind of a warm saddle brown color. It's so pretty. And I am just taking my fluffy blending brush and that is going to be my my transition color. So I am going to be putting that right here above the crease. And as you can tell, I'm not doing windshield wiper motions. I haven't said that in a long time, but you guys, I don't do that. I do either stippling motions or small brush motions. And I am starting to build it up so that it's kind of getting this sweeping look across my eye right here. You know that foxy eye that everybody's talking about? This eye look is kind of the same thing as that. So what I'm doing is I'm bringing most of the color out here at the top. This is how I normally do my eyes anyway, to give it a little bit of a lift because I'm older and I have downturned eyes and the, you know, the hood's getting a little bit heavier. So it's easier to focus right out here on the tail end part and put the better part of the shadow there and really buff that in there. We are going to now go into the next color that I'm going to use and I'm going to go into this red since we're definitely sticking into fall. This is a medium fluffy brush and I'm just picking up a little bit. I'm not like loading this brush up a lot and I'm going to tap that off. This is so saturated though you guys. This is a very very saturated color and you don't need a ton right here and I'm sticking out here and I'm going to go in about two thirds of the way right there on the above the crease. So I'm not so I'm blowing it out a lot on this red color. I'm sticking down here by the crease and just a little bit towards the tail of the eyebrow and I'm going about two thirds of the way in. It's always good to go back to your original brush and just kind of feather everything together or buff everything together. All right, the next one is a very round, very dense brush, and I'm gonna be going into the darkest color, which is kind of a, this is the neutral brown. It's like a cocoa brown, it's very pretty. I don't wanna get this all over, so I'm using a very squatty, very round 
brush and I'm gonna just really deliver that color right there in that corner. And I'm gonna go into the crease and build that up and very gently use the same brush to just buff towards the tail of the eye and bring that color towards the tail of the eye. All right, I'm going back with the second brush and blending those two colors that were down here together. And then I'm gonna go in on the lid with this color right here, which is kind of a matte. It's got a kind of a pink hue to it. So that's gonna be very brightening on the eyelid. And I'm using this specifically because I want this all to be a very soft, very muted look. But at the same time, I have to have that eyelid built up and bright. And so that color is going to really brighten and really help a lot. Blending everything together with that medium shader brush, including what we did here on the outer V. So next take off the tape, look at that crisp line. Don't you guys think that line is great? Look at that. It just pulls your eye up. You don't have any fallout. You don't have to worry about anything. You got just a very lifted, very beautiful look. That's the magic of tape. I love so it. I'm just going to take this brush and I'm going to diffuse that line ever so slightly because I don't want to lose that line. It actually gives the effect of wearing um, a cat eyeliner. And I like that a lot, especially since I'm older and I can't do that. This works so good. All right. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the waterline and I'm going to brighten the waterline with my wet and wild brow highlighter a lot of people have said this is going discontinued and it's not i did contact the company they have it on their website right now so it's just the manufacturing of it during covid was hard to find but it's there and it's not going anywhere i love that stuff the next thing i'm going to do is put on primer this is from revlon this is the color stay prep and prime it has an spf of 34 in it i really like this it is, it is a very white product but it's a great product for priming the face and getting a little bit of added protection for your um, sun damage and for your sunscreen and i just think it's great then my color corrector from la girl this is such a good color corrector and if you have dark circles like i do this is a must i just i don't go any i don't go one day without using this. It really helps me personally because i have such dark eyes and it just really counteracts that darkness. I'm using the Physician's Formula Healthy Foundation with the SPF it has into it in it too. Um, I don't really love this applicator, but I love the formula inside of here. Thought this was getting discontinued as well, but it's not. This is a super light color for me. And I'm going to mix the NYX Total Control Foundation Drops. I love this one too. So the difference is, is that the Healthy Foundation is a little bit more luminous, glowy. Really like that for my skin because my skin is dry. But I have hot flashes throughout the day, so I need something that lasts a little bit more. If I mix these two together, it's perfect. So if you have oily skin, you're going to really like these Total Control Drops. I like them anyway. But uh, if you want to mix the two together, they're really good. I think this color is called natural. It's just a little bit too dark and that's a little bit too light. Unfortunately, they're both too orange, so I have to use my LA Girl Blue Mix-In Pigment and um, kind of just get that a little bit more on the cool side. Can you guys see what's happening here? I don't know if you can see that or not. I just put a pump of that in there, like a half a pump in there. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna change it from a very orange foundation into almost, it looks almost gray, but I'll show you when I get it on my skin. It doesn't look gray on my skin. So it is really a great way for you to be able to just change any foundation without, without changing the formula. I'm, I'm gonna spray my sponge. People asked me in my last video, what is the purpose of spraying your sponge? This is a makeup setting spray that doesn't have any alcohol in it. Now, what I love about that is that I don't get a drying effect on my face. That helps it get that foundation to where it's a little bit thinner in consistency. And then it really just helps that foundation to stick longer on my face, which I like too, because hot flashes and all the other things that I do in the day. So, so I love that foundation mixed together. The two of them together just make something so pretty and so special and it covers like a dream. For concealer today, I have the Makeup Revolution Creaseless Concealer. I love this stuff, you guys, but I am hoping that you can see how much I put on there. It comes out in a squeeze tube. There's a drop on there. You need the smallest amount of this. I like it because what it does is it doesn't dry me out. This is a very, very creamy concealer 
but at the same time it's super coverage so i'm not going to get dry under there but if you use too much of this you're going to find that you get creasing the trick to this is to use absolutely the minimal amount that you can to cover the area that you want and look at that it's amazing. I use that teeny, teeny, tiny dot and it just blended everything out. Absolutely gorgeous. It is just amazing to me that you can use that little. This concealer is a dupe for the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. So if you love that, you're going to love this. It's the same consistency, very thick, and yet the price point is so much better. And I hope they never get rid of this because I absolutely love it to death. Using the e.l.f. Wow Brow, this one I think is either in taupe or soft brown i can't remember i'll make sure that i link it below i think this brow product is perfect for me i do have eyebrows but they are very sparse this has little fibers in it this just makes my brows look like it's a natural brow and that's what i love about it those fibers in there they catch my hairs and then the gel in there actually holds it in place i think it's so pretty you can see from one to another how great this is i'm telling you friends i hated doing my eyebrows and then when i found this this was like wow i'm so happy because i don't have to worry about eyebrows anymore it's just great all right next product i've never shown before but i've had it for a long time even have a divot in the actual contour this is from Folklore. You can order these on their website. I don't know if you can order them off of Amazon. I'll make sure I link everything. This is a perfect muddy contour and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use it to bring down this high high forehead of mine. I use a fan brush. I think I got this one. This is a Sonia Kashuk I think um, from Target. This is a great muddy color you guys. Um, it just is beautiful and this brush really helps you to keep that up in the hairline and kind of just fan it back towards the hairline. And then I also use it to carve out my cheekbones and then to carve out my jawline as well. What's nice to have a fan brush like this is you don't get it all over and yet you can take it and place your product down like this and then go like this and blend the product out all over the place. And then you can turn it, come down that chin in a V and that's going to help hide your double chin or your sagging gels or whatever you have there because I know I do. And then just go on the perimeter of your face to blend everything together. Now when you're done with that, you're probably going to think you look like you have a line up there, Melissa. <laughs> and I'm going to take my bronzer this is from L'Oreal. This is the Lumi Bronze. Love this stuff. I have it in light. Yes, the lid popped off of it. I'm so bad about that with makeup. I don't know if I'm rough on it or what it is, but I really do love this bronzer. It's beautiful. And I'm just going to go around the perimeter of my face with it. Again, just a little bit lower than what we did on the contour. But since this is lighter and I'm super light skinned, it's really going to help bring this look together. And I'm just going to kind of dust it all over my face to give that warmth that has a little bit of a luminosity about it, which I think is so pretty. Now yeah. for blush in this fall look, I decided to use Count Me In from ColourPop and their Super Shock formula. This is a coral rose color, so pretty. Perfect color for fall because it's kind of, you know, pulls that warm tone together so well. And I just take and I start out here on the um, outer part of my cheeks and then I bring it in about to where the pupil of my eye is. So straight down. I don't really do this whole, you know, right here on the rosy cheek part. I, I just have ruddy cheeks anyway to begin with. So that's going to peek through during the day. There's not a lot I can do about it. So beautiful. Such a beautiful blush. For a highlighter though, I'm going to be using the Juvia's Place. I think this is the Tribe Blush. Look how pretty that is. Isn't it beautiful? Look at Oh my gosh. Okay. I've got another fan brush and I'm just putting that fan brush down in there. This doesn't have any glitter in it. It just simply looks like glow and I think it's so beautiful. Hopefully you guys are going to be able to see that right away and how pretty that glow is. Oh my goodness. So beautiful. I'm going to put it right here on my cupid's bow. I'm going to hit the bridge of my nose. I don't do the tip of my nose ever. I just I don't know. I'm not one that likes the tip of the nose done. And then I'm going to do right here on the chin. And then I'm going to take just a little bit and put it right there on my collarbone. The beautiful thing about this highlighter is look at no texture. It just looks gorgeous. When you're going to run into trouble with texture as a mature woman is when you get into this area with your highlighter. Just stay out of that area completely and you should be fine. All right. I'm going to tap 
this under eye area one more time to make sure that there's no creasing whatsoever. Now that everything's set down, I'm gonna go in with some powder. I've been loving this halo powder from e.l.f. and I think this one is, yeah, this one is the yellow one. It's it's not really yellow, I don't remember what it's called. Gives that little bit of luminosity with them. So pretty. I have had to powder my face lately. I never used to powder my face, but I've had to lately as I'm having um, hot flashes. It just is driving me crazy, but I have to. I'm gonna do a teeny, teeny, tiny bit. I mean, I'm barely putting any around the eye there. I have to do that with this concealer. Otherwise, it's not going to stay. You will get the creasing. And then I'm going to just powder up all over the rest of the areas. To finish off the eye, I am taking the Ardell Wanna Get Lucky Eyeliner. Love this stuff, you guys. You probably heard me talk about it a ton. A quarter of the eye out here with that eyeliner. I work with one eye at a time because this dries down fairly quickly and I don't want it to get away from me. And then I'm gonna take a pencil brush that is a little bit fluffier than the normal pencil brushes I use because I really want this to be smudged out. I'm just gonna keep working back and forth with this until it gets connected to this outer part out here and it's smudged but I'm staying away from the inner corner there. For setting spray, I'm gonna get my glow on today. I am using the Luminating Prime and Fine Catrice Setting Spray. This is a dewy glow finish. It's very pretty. So just this make sure you hold your set spray far away and then let it fall on you. And then if you need to, you can go back in with your sponge wherever you maybe got too much. Love that setting spray. Also, I'm doing a very warm toned lip, which I don't normally do. I'm going to take a little bit of this foundation off my lips here. This is hot sauce from the Sephora Gel Rouge Lip Liners. I love this color. You would think with a name like Hot Sauce that it would be super duper red, but it's not. It's, it's kind of just a fall warm um, muted brown color. And then this Lipstick that I'm taking, I should have said this first before I start to paint my lips. This is Nude Lust from Maybelline. I love this. And then as a last thing um, for the lips, I'm taking the Milani Ludicrous. Uh, this is the Lip Gloss Brilliant something. <laughs> and this is 110. This is Luster Light. And it just gives a beautiful cast of light across the lips. I just put it right there in the middle. Taking that highlighter that I had from Juvia's Place and a pencil brush, and I'm going to highlight the inner corners. And then just slightly bring that into the eye look to hold, to tie it all together. Do you guys like seeing these in-depth tutorials or do you want quick and easy? I find that makeup is my outlet. Um, it's stress reliever. I enjoy playing with makeup. It's fun for me. So just doing it like this and sitting down and chatting with you while I'm doing it and kind of teaching a few techniques just really is something that I enjoy. But if you guys need to see a really fast, quick routine, or if you really wanna see a very, very natural routine, I can do both of those for you. Just let me know in the comment section. I'm going to curl my lashes. And once I have my lashes curled, I'm taking the e.l.f. waterproof pen, pen, and it's a liquid eyeliner, I should have said, not pen. I go from inner corner all the way to outer corner. Disclaimer, my hands shake, not because I'm nervous, I have a palsy in my hands, so I just live with that disability, and I, yeah, I shake every time I'm with you guys, so that's hard, I know. Now, not stopping in between, I'm going to do my mascara, and I'm using the Maybelline Falsies Mascara. Love the wand, love the product in here. This is a waterproof formula, so I'm gonna go off camera and finish these eyes and do my hair, and I will be right back with you guys with the finished look. All right, here's the final look for you. Very glowy, very warm toned. And I hope that you did enjoy this. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I really do appreciate you being here with me today and doing this little drugstore get ready with me. Hope everybody is happy, healthy. Please stay safe, stay sanitized, all those good things. Love you very much and I'll catch you all in my next video. Bye guys.